Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. It's episode number 12 of the Steelers franchise series. Last week took an L, but this week we bounce back. Our 5-5 five five Steelers versus the 5-5 five five Bengals. As you already know, we are past the trade deadline, so there's not really much we can do in terms of improving the squad. Mason Rudolph is just going to have to play better. He has a ton of weapons at his disposal. Let's start with the key moments. And if, you know, we're struggling just a little bit, then I'll hop in and play the rest of the game. Poor Bengals fans, man. We took AJ Green from him, and we took Geno. So now they have no superstar on their team is this what we're doing the play call he suggests has my namesake as the primary receiver bro what is going on we're just gonna run the ball we're just gonna hand it off to james connor like what is, what is coach thinking bro come on here we go first and ten all right james james nice juke move baby all right please give me better play calls than what you suggested prior there we go i like that one juju over the middle especially if this is a man this should be a big game let's see oh yeah it is never mind okay well our one's opened up R1, come on, James. We off. We off to the races, James Conner. It's an animal. Come on, bro. Put respect on his name. He's not just a nice runner. He can catch the ball, too. Somehow, he's still in the game. He's not tired. I don't get it, but I'm not going to complain. All right, he's a little tired, but still, he's getting the carry. <laughs> We're giving him the carry. He earned a touchdown, and he's down at the one. Plan is to run right behind our two tight ends, so let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so unfortunate, man. I wanted James to get a touchdown, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen yet. They're going to have to pass the ball. Big play. Let's go. Let's freaking go, Juju. First points of the game. Well, we, we did our job on the first key moment. Now it's the second one. And first quarter's winding down. We're on defense. Why not send a blitz? Third down, right? Let, let's do it. Force him to throw an Aaron pass. Here we go. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah. Clamps, baby. Gino with the sack against his former team. Doing pretty good on the key moments right now, man. We're in the second quarter. And we're back on defense. Defense needs my help. Oh, God. They're in the red zone. All right, let's try to keep them out of the end zone. That's the plan right here. Joe Mixon getting stopped for a gain of one. 131 total yards. They are moving the football. But, you know, hopefully we can bend. But do not break this halfback wham. Saw it the whole way. Oh, yeah, buddy, Devin Bush. I know y'all saw the game over the weekend versus the Chargers. Devin Bush might be on pace to win defensive rookie of the year in real life. And let's just say he's on pace to do it here as well. Third and 11. Why are you running? So now we have a chance to get some points before halftime. Extend our lead just a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, Square, I see you. Square, I see you. Come on, Mason. Accuracy is always going to be an issue with a young quarterback like this. But you know what? He still has the wheels. He still has the wheels. Y'all been telling me to run more, so I'm going to take your advice. I guess I just have to pick up first downs, and then they'll let me know, Huddle. It's going to be a first and 10, less than 50 seconds left. They have a spy up this time, but we have square wide open and an inaccurate pass. Hey, you know what? We're just going to have James Conner keep doing wheel routes, because it's been working. That's been, like, one of our biggest plays almost every single time. So, uh, triangle's open, though. Triangle's open. Yes. Complete pass this time. Juju getting the first down and getting out of bounds. I'm going to have faith, and I'm, I'm going to pray that he throws an accurate one on third and four. Oh, got her blitzing. Circle. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Oh, you almost had the first. We'll take the three. Yeah, seven miles per hour in our favor. 51 yards. This is no question. Going through the uprights. All right, next moment, let's see what happens. Half number two. Big third down. They're across midfield. Moving the football, looks like. Andy Dalton, empty backfield. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like it. It's not paying off, Chief. Oh, it's not paying. It paid off. And just like that, they yoinked me off the field. They said, boy, if you don't get your head. Okay, well, they brought me back. Third and five. User in Devin. No way. Yes, sir. Edmonds with the sack this time. Way to hold him at three. And now our offense has a chance to get that three right back. We are across midfield. Third and three. A lot of threes. Going to hand it off to a guy with three in his jersey. Okay, I'm done. I promise. Connor, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, the cutback. The cutback, James Connor. Connor out of the backfield. That's pretty much all Delvin Hodges threw to when I watched the game. Oh, God. We're, we're taking off. We're going to try to take off. Never mind. Right, next moment. Yes, they did not score. We got the ball back. Looks like it's going to be the last play of the third quarter, man. You don't even have to hike it, but I do kind of want to hike it. Why not? I haven't been playing too much, so... uh Let's get, you know, let's get Juju a catch right there in the first down. We're in the red zone on the second and eight at the nine. Here we go, Juju wide open. Juju's wide open. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown, baby. His second one of the game. It's a bloodbath, people. I knew we weren't losing to the five and five Bengals. It just wasn't going to happen. Look at this. We're already back in the red zone. Counterplay on the second and two. Connor needs to get a touchdown. He deserves one. At least that's what I think. I honestly think we're set up perfectly for the playoffs, man. We have a great defense, great running game. That's all we need. Our quarterback just has to be a game manager, and I think we'll be okay, man. We're going to run the ball, power it. Look at this. Okay, well, smoke too soon. Or maybe the run game's a little bit average, you know? It's, it's not It's not amazing, you know what I'm saying? Second and nine, counter play. Okay, it's actually pretty good. It's, it's pretty freaking good. I'd be a fool not to run the ball, but the counter play on third down and one, uh, F it. Let's go. 
Let's go, man. Oh my god, he cannot be stopped. The stiff farm, we're down inside the five. Yeah, Connor back in the game. Third down and goal at the seven. Power is the play call. We're gonna try to cut it to the outside. Let's go. Nice block right there. Connor with the kill. Oh, we're down inside the two. You're telling me to kick the field goal, put us up 14. I think that's the smart thing to do. No more points. Okay, wow, they scored a touchdown. This is not good. This is not good at all, man. They're going for the one size kick. Definitely concerns me a little bit. You know what I mean? Not worried at all, man. I knew we were gonna recover it. This is literally the game right here. How bad do you guys want it? Our lineman versus yours. Who can push the pile back? We win. Nine times out of ten, we go win that battle, man. We're headed to next week with a six and five record. Told you we were bouncing back. Not just us, but Mason Rudolph. His accuracy could improve a little bit, but 232, two touchdowns, no interceptions. James Conner with two for 90 in the receiving game to go along with his 28 for 113. Should have had a touchdown. I, I, I kind of feel bad that I didn't give him a touchdown, but you got Juju into the end zone twice, man. I'll take it. Joe Hayden with a bevy of tackles, eight to be exact. Minka with eight as well, along with Devin Bush man tackles for loss okay Cameron Hayward too both our defensive ends I'm telling you they're, they're they're filthy Devin Bush once again making his claim for the defensive rookie of the year that much stronger we had how many sacks five Jesus Christ oh we have an upgrade for Mike Tomlin let's go only have 1600 XP just about okay O-line training boost it would increase the amount of XP players earn in training O-line retirement influence slightly decreases the chance of players at these positions will retire that's interesting that that might be what we have to use it on you guys are gonna have to let me know what I should use it on because I, I it might have to be something on the offensive line. Remember, we have so many guys that are extremely old at that position, like you know, the Castro, uh, Ramon Foster, Pouncey, who I don't think is going anywhere. You know, let me just go ahead and check how many years each of the old linemen have left on a contract just to make it easier. But first, we have upgrades Juju Smith Schuster finally about to be a 90. Let's go around runner 90 overall. I was nervous, I thought if we increased that, that might not get him there, but plus one to catching, excel, and release also plus three to medium route running he's gonna be unstoppable minka fitzpatrick let's go man he's playing really well at a cornerback position if you don't hear from a cornerback that means they're doing their job i do like that play wreck we're going with this one he's an 83 overall plus one to play wreck press and tackling plus two to zone we're not done yet james washington our number two wide receiver at this moment in time he's been performing really well for me we do have deontay in the slot though so uh, you know what i'm not gonna go ahead and upgrade his slot he could always improve in route running right like i don't see why i wouldn't want to improve his route running especially if he's getting this much playing time he didn't go up in terms of overall you know how i feel why would you say that but he went up in terms of plus three medium route running and plus one awareness and finally the last one i'm gonna do mark Barron. let's go to his field general improving you know his all around game now he's a 75 overall plus one to block shedding man coverage and tackling plus three to zone bro our, our zone coverage across the board <laughs> All right, so one by one, let's look at their contracts. Building the wave, I think, is like the youngest guy here. Okay, he's 30. Contracts, here we go. Okay, he's under contract for this year and next year, so we're good to go. He's going to want to get an extension sometime next year, but for right now, we're good. Like, in offseason, we don't have to worry about him going anywhere. Ramon Foster, he's an 82 overall. He's 33 years old. That looks nothing like him. He's also under contract for next year, so we don't have to worry about him going anywhere. I don't think he's going to retire. So Marquise Pounce, he's 30 as well. Same with Villanueva. Nine years of experience. Let's see his contract, man. I'm getting nervous. Okay, he's under contract until 2021 we're good now the moment of truth our best offensive lineman david de castro i'm nervous he's 29 superstar development please be under contract for at least the next year let's go we don't have to worry about any of our offensive linemen leaving in free agency until after next season but we might have to worry about ramon retiring because if he does then we're going to be forced to rock with bj finney as our starting left guard next year so i'm leaning towards that old line retirement influence but also uh, it's up to you guys you guys are gonna have to let me know also jeremy parnell don't really know if i want to bring him back he's 33 like this is a guy he, he might be able to just retire like I, I really wouldn't care that much okay he after this season he's a free agent so he'll probably just walk and remember we have a ton of draft picks man i stockpiled i think three first round picks and i'm probably going to use one of them on a right tackle why not look at some of the guys we've scouted already like just to you know give you an idea alaric jackson the first one we already scouted him and then trey adams so we're going to keep our eyes on them you feel me okay view message breakout player how do you feel about james Conner? last game i knew it was about him i never thought of him as a franchise back what that's just so disrespectful 
disrespectful for yeah. you to say something like that. But you know what? Let's see what he can do against Cleveland. If we give him an opportunity, I bet he'll surprise us. Three touchdowns or 150 yards rushing receiving. We can do both of them. So the Browns actually won last week. They're 10 and 1 and we're 6 to 5. If we lose this, they pretty much walk away with the division. This is a must win. Same exact thing. Starting with the key moments, if our team's struggling, I'll, I'll play the rest of the game, but that's how we're going to start. Oh, what? Well, we have a safety. Oh my God. What a start. There's really no words. Okay, James Conner, the goal was to get him three touchdowns. This is going to be number one. We're going we're gonna to handball off four times if necessary. Yep, it's going to be necessary. Second and goal. Inside zone is the play call this time. Right behind the Castro. We're going to cut it back. James Conner. And after that field goal, it's 9-0. Okay, never mind. It's 9-7. Damn. <laughs> we're going to have to keep scoring. There's just no way I see us stopping them. So we're going to have to keep putting points up on the board. Third and four. Big play. Oh my, oh my gosh, Miles Garrett. Oh, they used two timeouts. And now we're in the second half, just like that. We still have the lead, at least. But we're on defense for the first key moment. This is the third key moment of the game, people. And, and we're in the second half in the third quarter, man. I don't know what has been going on, but I might just have to play the rest of the game after this. I just, I might have to play the rest of it. There's not even that much time left. Why not? Why not? Okay, run. I run right up the gut. Come on, Kareem Hunt, stop it. What I remember last time playing Baker, he was extremely accurate in curl routes and destroyed us. We're shading underneath. Oh yeah, we're ready for it. We're ready for it. No way, out of bounds. That's the risky part about protecting the sticks, man. You leave people open in the end zone. Big play, third and nine, it's a screen. Come on, get out there. No, the blocks, let's go, Hayward. His 10th tackle for a loss this season, what an animal. I'm gonna block my boy, Gentry, and we're gonna see if we can get Connor in a nice matchup. There it is, okay, he's wide open. Look at this, are you serious? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, James Conner. Ooh, just had one man to beat. Running away from Miles Garrett on his third and one. James Conner right up the gut. Easy first down. Oh my God, he's injured. No freaking way. Please tell me it's not serious. Please, I'm begging you. Broken collarbone. All the energy just got, you know, taken away from me right now. I I, I feel lifeless. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is unbelievable. This is, I'm just going to take off of Mason. I'm going to take off of Mason. He's our running back now, pretty much. He's our running back. Look at Mason. All right, where is Miles Garrett? Double team this young man. Now it's going to be a third and four. And we're going to see if we go. Oh, my goodness. We're taking off. Mason Rudolph has wheels, baby. Mason giving us the lead on the ground. His first career rushing touchdown comes at a very important time. Here we go. Circle. Let's go. That's a nice pass. Seven point lead. Okay, we've reached quarter number four, and we have another big play on our hands. Third down. Come on, Devin Bush. Curls again. What did you expect? What did y'all expect? Man, get there. Can somebody get there next time? Oh my God, Kareem. Their offense has so many weapons. It's ridiculous. We're going to stop them, though. We're going to make a play. Somebody's going to make another. Oh, it's corners this time. It's corner routes this time, and they get the nice first down. We're going to send a blitz. We cannot let Baker just sit back and dot us. Oh, screens. Screens, baby. Let's go. I told you I was going to make a play. We literally have a rookie at running back and a sophomore at quarterback. If we can somehow win this game, we can be anybody. Okay, we're going to start taking off more. We're going to start having having to take off we're gonna run right at him let's see if that's a smart decision okay the blocks were beautiful benny snell with the first down there we go no spy are you dumb do not understand that mason rudolph is pretty much michael vick oh, oh brother oh whoa oh, oh, whoa oh. whoa now you got too much dip on your chill all right let me relax okay he's not quite that goaded but he's pretty freaking good oh my god so is that dude second and 13 plan is to get at least in field goal range do I have to take off of Mason? I think I do. Look at Mason. He's so fast. On the season, they were the best rush defense, but today they've allowed over 150 yards. And that's with us losing our starting running back, man. You love to see it. Second and four slants. Oh, they sent the blitz. No, come on. We lobbed it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Takeaways on the season. We ranked number one. Today, we only have one. A little bit frustrating. I'm not going to lie. This week and last week, we've had a tough time getting turnovers. But hey, on the season, we've been doing pretty well. Slants, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Ooh, stop testing me, Baker. Okay, it's the screen. We're all up. Look at how fast 55 is. Steelers, your season is not over in real life. I'm telling you right now. You guys have an incredible defense. The proof is right here. TJ Watt with the sack. Okay, I understand Madden is a little different. But hey, holding a high-powered Chargers offense with all those weapons to what? Like three points in the first half was nasty. Uh-oh. Looks like they have the injury bug as well, man. Fourth and six. Big play. Biggest play of the game, actually. Biggest play of the game. Let's go. Oh, you dropped it. But it's cool. We had a 14-point lead. Less than three minutes left. We just got to run this ball, run this clock out. Benny Snow Jr. just no fumbles. Oh, on the season, our offense has been abysmal. But we've had a great day today. What is with coach in this play? We have three cable tight ends, and they keep wanting to go to our backup right tackle. 17-point game. Boswell doesn't miss. Let's get another turnover. 
Oh, it's the screen again. They haven't learned their lesson. Devin Bush 100% is winning defensive rookie of the year. Right now, I'm just focusing on the positives. I know there's a negative. There's a huge injury, but Mason Rudolph has won two games in a row. James Conner before his injury was, was killing it. 18 for 53, a touchdown. Mason 11 for 81 and a touchdown on the ground. You're going to be seeing a lot more of that in the next few weeks. Juju with another touchdown, two games in a row where he, he found pay dirt. Man, very, very good game. And what is with Joe Hayden? man a tackle machine second game in a row he was the top of the team in terms of tackling let's see tackles for a loss nick perry cameron hayward once again and who else stefan to it bro our d-line is nasty we had one sack on the day and it was tj watt he's always making plays and we had two interceptions edmonds and of course the rookie devin bush remember that upgrade from mike tomlin that i was talking about that that moves to the number two priority like you guys still got to let me know what you want me to use it on in terms of i think it was o-line resign o-line retirement but after these upgrades there's another decision you're gonna have to help me with man devin bush phil general let's make him an 80 let's make him an 80 plus two to morale as well plus two to awareness and play wreck along with plus one to block setting and pursuit justin lane i think he's like our fifth string cornerback something like that so it's kind of important it's actually pretty important you know it, we're pretty much a zone defense so why not upgrade his zone so james connor is going to be out for six weeks that's what they're telling us maybe they might let him come back a week early i don't know i haven't really played too much franchise so i don't know how that works so that means he's going to miss our last four games of the season and at least one playoff game if we make the playoffs we're gonna need somebody to fill the void that james connor left at least until he comes back there's a couple veterans here a couple power backs you know what i'm saying but no one really stands out to me but it's up to you guys i'm gonna let the people decide but that's gonna be it for today man two w's in one video i think that deserves two times as many likes man if you want to see more double headers and just more gameplay and more videos at a faster rate smash the like button also don't forget to subscribe for new around here man follow me on twitter i never usually plug my twitter but i figured why not man you guys go ahead and follow me you know we should be talking sports and just a lot of things you know video games things of that nature it's a fun time okay also have a good rest of your day and as for me